a strategy which we are pursuing and um, we are quite happy with the underlying business performance. Um, with our revenues up, what we've seen is a one-off credit impairment that has impacted our bottom line. But um, our loan book is up um, by 42%. Deposits are also up by 57%, you know, to 292 billion. And the underlying business is growing. So we are quite pleased with the results. And um, we believe that the business analysts have analyzed um, our results quite fairly and understand that the bottom line is a one-off. But what was the source of the 4.7 billion naira provisions in 2011? Um, two main things, um, 3.6 billion of that was due to credit impairments and 1.1 billion was due to a diminution in other assets. Um, the credit impairment was largely due to one specific um, credit provision, you know, um, and we did it in a precautionary manner because we really are continuing to pursue a very comprehensive risk management framework. Now, we also saw interest expense growing faster than interest income. Why exactly is this? And of course, going forward, what is Stanbic IBTC doing about term deposits versus demand and current deposits? The rise in interest expense was primarily due to the tightening of the monetary policy environment by the central bank. Um, when we saw last year um, the NPR move up six times, you know, so that did impact our cost of funding and um, the cost of, you know, obtaining deposits. And what we are doing is piggybacking off our increased branch network you know, to drive um, low-cost liabilities. We currently are about 49% to 51% in terms of the demand deposit stroke term deposit mix, and we are target targeting to get up to 70% in demand deposits. But what were the drivers of non-interest income? The main driver is our diversified business model. And um, if I explain that a bit further, we have several lines of businesses which contribute to you know, the NIR line. Um, we were able to provide foreign exchange solutions to our corporate clients. Um, and as our transaction volumes increased, uh, also our fees and commissions also improved. We have a significant wealth business where we have seen a 21% increase in our assets under management to about 700 billion Naira. And we are now the largest institutional you know, wealth manager in the country. In addition to that, um, we were able to close several financial advisory mandates. So our investment banking um, business also produced some fee income. We also saw some growth in operating expenditure. What was driving this and what is the outlook for this in 2012? Yeah. The past two years have been investment years for us. We've invested in infrastructure, in systems, in people. You know, specifically, we rolled out 30 branches last year. Um, we put in place a new banking software, Finical. We made sure we had the right skills and competences. And all of this helped to drive up the operating expenses. But, you know, we continue to balance you know, um, development and also, you know, cost efficiency and building a sustainable business. And last year, we actually saw the trend of our operating expenses go down. So that in Q1 is about 76% and by Q4 it was 72%. So we are moving it in the right direction and there's lots of attention and focus on operating expenses. Now can you give us some insights into uh, the structure of the bank's deposits looking at 2011? Um, our total deposits went up by 57% to 292 billion so we are very pleased with that. Um, of that um, we had growth in retail deposits of 40%. Um, the mix, like I said earlier, is currently 49 to 51% in terms of the demand to term deposits. And um, we are working actively to take that mix 
um, to 70% in low cost liabilities. We believe that as we sweat the branch network that we have, which is currently over 170, that we will um, get the dividends of that investment in the coming years. Now, I'd like to get your outlook for the investment banking space uh, in 2012. Of course, tying into the outlook for Stanbic IBTC, uh, and most importantly, how much do you think scale uh, will help you overcome the challenges you are facing in the cost front? Our strategy is very clear. We want to be the leading end-to-end -end financial solutions provider in this market, and that involves building a strong franchise in investment banking, in wealth management, in our retail business as well. We believe that in the investment banking um, segment of our business that there are lots of opportunities for financial advisory work, for raising equity and debt capital. Um, we also believe that in the leverage and acquisition financing space, you know, that there would be lots of opportunities. And we are hoping that um, as the reform program of the federal government, you know, continues to evolve, that we will be active players in the various sectors. Mm. Has there been any change in management's thinking uh, about m and over the last six months, uh, considering the impact of deals done by some banks last year on the industry dynamics? Once again, I repeat, we have a very clear focus strategy. Um, there has been no change, so that we will continue to grow organically. Um, if the right opportunity presents itself that we believe that will result in you know, value being created, we will certainly take advantage of it, but um, we are not under any pressure to go ahead and do an M&A because others are doing it.